Hi, my name's Chris and I make knives. In today's video, I'm going to use this arbor press to take the bow out of a piece of bar stock. In a previous video, I showed you how I removed the bow from my blade stock using the surface grinder and filler gauges. But there's a faster way that sometimes you can do that if the bow is right in the middle. And that's using this arbor press. It's a lot faster, it's a lot easier. Uh, the first thing you have to do is after you've cut your bar stock, you have to remove all the burr. And to do that, I use a bastard file and a Scotch Bright wheel. I hope you can hear me okay. I'm machining left hand knives. I had a lot of requests at the 2018 Blade Show for left handed knives. All my knives are right handed. So I spent the last two weeks uh, programming a left handed knife. Right now, that's what the Haas is doing it's machining um, left hand knives. But for now, we're talking about removing the bow with the arbor press. So let's get this out of here. I'm going to make sure that there's no burr, so I went ahead and hit the bastard file around the perimeter. Now I'm going to take the Scotch Bright wheel again to deburr this. Welcome to the surface plate. This is my piece of metal that I just deburred with the bastard file and I also hit it on the scotch bright. I'm looking for the bow. Very clearly, this side spins like a top, so that is my bow. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark that with a sharpie. And now I need to know. Um, how high of a bow that is. So I'm going to use filler gauges to determine that. These are just uh, brass filler gauges. I typically use these for my um, surface grinder. And all I'm going to do is just see if a four thousandths will fit underneath this. Uh, the four thousandths will not go. So now I'll try a three. This is the two, and the two will go. Now that I know that I have a 2000s um, bow in this piece of metal, uh, let's go to the arbor press on the workbench, and we'll use the arbor press to take this bow out. Welcome to my workbench. Uh, this is a arbor press. It's just a two-ton arbor press. Ideally, you'd want to bolt this thing down. Uh, mine is a palm green. <clears throat> also have some um, wooden blocks. What I'm going to do now is straighten this piece of steel using this arbor press. So at the surface plate, I marked the high side with a sharpie. That's a good idea. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this centered under the center of the axis of the arbor press on my wooden blocks and press down to take the bow out. You just let the weight of the arbor press rest on that to help it hold everything together so it doesn't just fall apart on you. Ideally, um, you want to have equal amounts of your bar stock onto your pieces of wood. You want to use wood so that you don't damage the metal. Don't use, you know, a piece of steel like comes with the bottom of the base plate here. You want to use something soft like wood. Um, you can also see I've protected the center of the arbor with pieces of leather that have zip tied on there to um, soften the blow because I don't want to put a bunch of dents in my metal, dents and dings. And so I've put this leather on here, zip ties. This prevents me from damaging, uh, putting dents in my blade steel. <clears throat> Try to get your blade steel centered up both in and, and left and right. Um, try to make sure that the blocks... Hang on, let me answer that. Hello, Gillen's Knives. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pull down. About that much. 
Now we're going to go to the surface plate and check it for flat. Welcome back to the surface plate. Now previously this was our high side. But now you can see that it is no longer the high side. So when I actually I pushed down on the arbor press, um, I pushed too much and now the bow is on the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the arbor press, turn the X down, and now press down um, on this side. And this takes a few trips. You just have to go back and forth, back and forth. and But it's faster than running the surface grinder for, you know, 30 minutes. Welcome back to the Arbor Press. So in the previous attempt, I turned the X up, but I pushed too hard. And now the bow is the steel's bow the other way. So now I'm going to turn the X down and again, center it up. Just should let the weight of the arbor press hold everything together for you. And uh, you want to get it centered in and out and also centered left and right. Make sure the blocks aren't clocked, that they're perpendicular to your piece of bar stock. You try to get equal amounts on both sides of the bar stock. I try to do um, three eighths of an inch. So pull down, oh, about that much. And now we're going to go again. Check it on the surface plate. And so this is good. You want to see that the steel will not hardly spin on either side and you'll be real careful when you center that up um, because if you if you're not pushing perfectly in the center you can twist and warp um, your piece of bar stock but in this case um, we did a pretty good job and now we're going to check it with the filler gauges and so this is a 2000 filler gauge and the filler gauge will no longer um, go underneath the bar stock and so this is pretty good I'll even check it with the thousands and the thousands will not go uh, underneath the bar stock this method takes a little bit of time you have to go back and forth between the arbor press to the surface plate um, I have a small shop, they're relatively close, about 20 feet, so I don't mind walking back and forth. But this is a lot faster than spending 15 to 30 minutes um, surface grinding the bar stock. I hope this helps. Thanks for spending, you know, six minutes with me uh, of your time. I greatly appreciate that. Please like the video, even though it wasn't uh, heavily on the machining today. And uh, we'll get back to the machining in the nearest future, possibly some CAD cam. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Be sure to bolt these things down so they don't flip off your table and crush your foot.